Yo, what's poppin' people? Welcome back to another episode of Kicking Their Bass TV. Thank you guys so much for the love and support. Today we're gonna be doing some bass fishing, but we're gonna be pond fishing today, and I'm excited about it. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, share this video with a friend, also hit the like button. I'd really appreciate it. And if you guys wanna check out some of the kicking combos, I got them on kickingtheirbass.com, right hand, left hand, bait casters, and spinning combos. You need to go ahead and order them now. <laughs> Why do they need to order them now? <laughs> You need to go ahead and order them. You need to go ahead and order them. <laughs> Hold on. <bro. laughs> you need to go ahead and order them now so you get them by Christmas. <laughs> you need. <laughs> you need to. <laughs> you need to go ahead and order them now so you'll receive them. <laughs> You need to order them now so you'll receive them by Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, say it with me. Christmas. 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 No. Christmas. 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 Hey, baby. If you guys want to receive this by Christmas, you need to go ahead and order them now. Kickingtheirbass.com. Link will be down below. Guys, this was the hardest thing in my life to end up saying, so... <laughs> <laughs> long story short we filmed a micro fishing video if you guys haven't seen it go check it out but cody was telling me this morning he was like dude i went back to edit the video and when you said christmas you said it like christmas <laughs> i just didn't even know i said it like that and now we're just we're, we're stupid man we're just stupid just that's the moral that was story. harder than it should have been Dude, uh, that was like five minutes on me trying to say Christmas the right way. So I can't right now. But yeah, we're going to be doing some pond fishing. Got this beautiful place behind us. It smells like some fresh picked onions out here right now. But we're about to make it happen. And I uh, got my kicking combo, 17 pound fluoro. Got an old underspin on here that we're going to try out today. This is actually a bait that I haven't thrown out on this pond. Or, ha or I haven't really thrown in ponds at all this year other than some of Fletcher's places. So we're gonna give it a shot today. That's the only swim bait I have. So once we break it off or once we lose the swim bait, I'm probably gonna switch up to something else, which I got a bunch of stuff in the back of my truck. So let's go ahead and get this thing started, guys. I hope you enjoy it. If you do, hit the like button. Let's make it happen. Order now the receipt by Christmas. Had to go ahead and retie this. Last thing that we want is to break off a 10 pounder today and for some reason like actually i'm not even gonna say that not even gonna say it we're gonna catch him cody i'm gonna leave the snippers right there i don't know the last thing we left on the truck uh almost turned bad we're not gonna talk about that though <laughs> we almost had an incident this morning didn't we cody? spoiler alert it was the camera we left the camera on the tire it, it was yeah i i to be honest i don't know how we didn't retire the youtube channel this morning it was a close one Maybe Cody much. forgot his phone at the house and uh, it was just a mess. <laughs> we went back to get my phone and see something laying in the driveway. In the street. It wasn't even in the driveway, bro. It, it was, was in the yeah. cul-de-sac. So I left the camera on the front tire and we went to the gas station. Came back and... Came oh, back yeah. and it was laying on the ground. And but it happened to be flawless because I don't even know. We, we got so lucky. Yeah, I'm going to end up going like that. Oh yeah, there he is. Not big. Not big, but I'll take him for the first fish. Old fish head bass. Yes, sir. Can barely eat it. Let's give her a little tick tick. First fish to start of the day. Nothing much. You gotta start somewhere. Give me some Cody. Let's start, right? Yep. Let's get it. I'm liking this angle that I'm throwing, and that's that's where I had that bite too. I'm not throwing like straight out. I'm not throwing parallel. I'm kind of hitting more of that angle. Just being able to get this bait through that slot and keep it in that strike zone and not reel it too fast. I think I'm going to have a good one hit me hard, dude. Like I just, he's not going to play around. It's going to be one hard thump and he's going to have it. I just want to know how big that one was that boiled on us, dude. 
That was a pretty good fish. Oh, how about broke my wrist? <laughs> oh, it's a tree, dude. I'm mad about it. I really wanted to throw this bait, dude. Really don't want to. Oh man, it's okay. We have another secret bait that I think is gonna do the do the job. I'm just mad about that. That was my only underspin. I just wanted to catch one big one on it today, but it's okay. We got a secret bait that we're gonna be whipping out. I think it's gonna kill it. And I'm gonna go, we're gonna go back to the truck. I'm gonna talk a little bit about it and why I think this bait's gonna catch a lot of good ones. All right, y'all. It is time to rig up a bait. So I brought multiple little tackle boxes with me today. But this one right here that has my square bills in it, I also have some wake baits, okay? And if you guys saw one of the recent videos over the last month or so, we figured out something with a wake bait. Like a wake bait is a top water, right? But we're not reeling it like a top water. We are burning this thing as fast as we can and we're keeping it about eight inches below the surface. And this bait right here in a pond is just insane because one is creating a reaction bite even if the fish are really slow, they're still going to eat it. Something about a crankbait, they eat it. And two, in ponds, there's usually a lot of slop and nasty stuff on the bottom. Well, with this thing only diving eight inches, you know, if I was to get a regular square bill, I wouldn't even be able to work it in here. So the wake bait allows you to literally keep this bait a foot below the surface, not get in the slop, but still keep it in the strike zone to get bit. And I'm picking out this color today, which is like a pearl with a blue back. It's a beautiful color. Um, the reason I'm picking out this one is because it is cloudy today. When it's cloudy, I tend to use your whites and your bone colors. They seem to eat that a little bit better. They seem to commit to it a little bit better. This bait right here has chrome on it. I'd rather run that when it's a little bit sunny out. But when, oh, this one looks so good as well. I don't know, these both look good, but both these baits would be killer today with the clouds out. So we're going to go ahead and get started. If you guys want to check out any of the Strike King baits, I have a discount code and a link for y'all in the description box to save you guys a lot of money. You can go check that out. But yeah, this thing has been a big fish killer in the ponds recently. Um, so this is something that <laughs> we kind of picked up on from my boy Connor, and I think he's on something with this. This is like... It, it, this is going to show today if it's going to work or not, but this thing has been catching biggins. All right, y'all, here goes nothing. I'm hoping this wake bait's going to get her done today. Last time we came out here, that's how we were catching biggins. They weren't biting good. They were super slow. If today, they don't seem the best either, so this wake bait might get them done and get them aggressive. Some about a crankbait or anything like that with a rattle and moving it fast. They just get angry about it, man. Look at that, look at that huge one. Huge one just blew up on me. I'm gonna keep burning it and see if we'll get aggressive. Here we go. Yeah, huge. Huge I had to get him out of that tree. He ain't even that big, guys. I thought he was big because I felt him on that branch. Oh, it's a good one. He ain't like a giant though, he's a good fish though. Yeah, pretty fish, pretty fish. Oh yeah. Nice two pounder right there. Can't not complain with that. Look how he ate that thing too. Had a good little wake on that bait. <laughs> Get it, wake bait. Nice little fish right there. Second fish to start off the day, solid two, two and a half pounder. Cannot complain with that, look at that pretty bass. Thank you, buddy, for biting, man. This is gonna be the trick, guys, getting these fish to react. Literally, we tied that on instantly, we're getting slammed. Let's get her back in the water. Thank you, baby. Good fish. She splashed me in the face, nice. Oh, God, 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 
god, go, go. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Sorry, I freaked out. Sorry. Oh my god, that was like a seven pounder. Oh my god, that was like a seven pounder. It came right off that dang thing. That, that dang. It came right off that pole right there, guys. Holy cow. I literally watched him eat it. That was cool. You're not big. A little tiny dude. They're hanging on that wood, dude. Any wood that you find, that's where I'll get bit. That piece of wood had a bite on this side, had a bite on that side. When I missed that really big one earlier, a second ago, it was on that big pole. Then that one was on that pole as well. Not a big fish, but it's a nice one. We're figuring out something now. They're on that wood. That's That's what those fish are holding to ton of bait in this corner this is it right here you ready Oh gosh, that's him, dude. Gotta be a good one. Dude, look at the boil. He don't look that big though. He's not that big. Putting up a wake like he's 10 pounds. I got him hooked all weird. <laughs> that's why you felt so large, buddy. You got a mouthful of leaves. I hope that's leaves. He's either got a leaf or a bird in there. There we go. We have just not got any big ones today yet, guys, but I missed that really good one. I know we have an opportunity to catch one. It's just we're having a really, I mean, we walked this whole pond right around here just to get this one bite. So bites are coming slow and steady, but we're still catching them and having a good time. Thank you, buddy. <sighs> there we go. Oh yeah. That feels like a decent one. Yeah, that's a decent one. Gosh, he's fight they're fighting so hard, dude. Oh oh my god, what? Did you see that? No. Did you see that little water splash? That was a different fish right next to him. Oh, was it? He was following him in, yeah, yeah. That's a nice two pounder. Swipe at this thing so good. Look at that one, that's a good one. We're gonna throw back in there. Yeah, dude, that was a big splash from a different fish. Thank you, buddy. I, I'm just throwing these fish. <laughs> they keep splashing me in the face. They're so ag aggressive. Jeez. Uh-oh. Yeah. 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 This is it, buddy. Mm -hmm. That's the one we've been looking for. Unless he's hooked weird. Oh yeah, that's the one we've been looking for. Oh gosh. Get this big girl up here, baby. Mm. Mm-hmm. What you think? That's a four or something? Yeah. Four, two, two, two. <laughs> yeah. Dude. That's what we've been waiting on. Yeah, buddy. That's the fish that we want, boys. Those are the size that we want. I knew right when I hooked him, that was what we were looking for. I won't tell you, he's a big one, but I know we can do better. I know we can get a six plus today. We had like a six, seven pounder boil on us earlier. I know it's possible, but I do not mind catching a beautiful four pounder. Let's get her back in the water. That's what we need. She's a long fish. She's not super fat, but she's thick. She a thick old girl. Oh yeah. She mean too. What you think about that, Bubba? That's what we need, man. Let's get back in there. Oh. 
Uh oh. Oh, it's a giant. Yeah, that's a big one, Cody. I haven't got a good look on him, but I can tell he's at least four. At least he looks like it. He ain't even that big, is he, Cody? Dang, dude. Oh, that's a three pounder. <clears throat> I mean, it's a good one. He ain't a four pounder, he's a three pounder. He looked a lot bigger in that water. It's a pretty fish though, ain't it? Yeah, it is. Guys, we haven't had a bite in a minute. and I went back to the truck and I took that wake bait off. Ended up putting um, this trap on right here. And uh, instantly, like <laughs> I'd say five minutes, ended up catching a solid three pounder right there. Not a bad fish at all. We, had, we literally haven't even had a bite, Cody, since what, that four pounder? Yeah. Or we had a, one bite, but I mean, it's been probably an hour, a little over an hour since that last fish. So it feels good to catch one. That's a pretty one. They might want that trap. Might be a little better for them to eat. It's a good fish though. Thank you, buddy. Cool. Nice. Good one. Oh gosh, Cody. Hey, Cody. Boy, this is a big one. This is a big one. Unless you just, I can't, gosh, it's so hard to, yeah, it's a big one. She's fucking good. Oh no. Don't get on that tree. Don't do that. That's a nice one right there, boys. It's a three and a half pounder. Oh, look at that one, brother. That's yeah. a good one right there, man. Yeah. The size is getting better, I will say. The last three fish, two three pounders and a four pounder. That's a three and a half right there all day, every day. That's a good fish. He felt a lot bigger than that, to be honest with you. But <laughs> That's a big one. Yep. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Well guys, I think this fish is gonna close off today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button, share this video with a friend, get them in the fishing, and also hit the subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel. I enjoyed it today. I mean, it was a beautiful day. It wasn't too hot, wasn't too cold. It was just nice being out here, but I'll catch you all in the next video. <laughs>